well, we're going to continue with fall in mind as we look at what to wear. And we have some great options as the weather gets cooler from two local retailers, Bridge and Burn. Also, Polar Stuff is here in studio. Rod will catch up with them in just a minute. But let's start with Bridge and Burn. Ash Hester, nice to meet you. Nice, and nice to, to have you. you in. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, so you're starting off with looks for men. Tell us what you brought in. Absolutely. So for us, it's all about layering to be transitional. We're very much adventure seeking. And we also like you to be all versatile to wear it from the office to a hike to a game. So I have some great British Miller and wax canvas. We are in a rainy climate, so this is awesome for that. Then we Excuse me, when you say wax canvas, yeah. what does that mean? It's more of a heavy use, so it's water resistant, uh, and then it allows the rain to kind of repel off, so you're not going to be drenched, keeps you dry. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some great moleskin cotton over shirting. And then another overshirting is our fielding. These are nice because they can be either a lighter jacket and wear it that way, or you can use it as an overshirt as well. As it gets more cooler, you button it up, take it into the office. From what I recall, Bridge and Burn made here locally? Um, some of the pieces are made here locally. We have a flagship store based downtown. Mm -hmm. And then we do some stuff in L.A. as well and then overseas. <clears throat> Overall concept of Bridge and Burn looks very outdoorsy, but also nice enough to wear on a date, Absolutely. for example. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Um, we do try to dress to that it's timeless. So you can be a more dressier look. Um, again, like I said, you can wear it to the office on a date. But then you can live in it. You can get dirty in it. You can break it in and not feel restricted. So that's a big philosophy of ours. And durable fabrics Absolutely. as well. So what would be the number one thing you would tell a guy about updating his look for fall? Uh, I think that if it's been a while, a good outerwear coat is essential because that is kind of the, the warmth to the look. And then a nice over shirt um, and then a, a good flannel. The plaid. Uh, yeah, the plaid look. I think that it's a classic, nice look. And then, it, again, it's it's playful, sporty, so you can wear it to drinks with the guys or at a game. Yeah, and Bridge and Burn seems to like you know, the muted colors, sort of earth yeah. tones. We are very earth tone driven. Uh, again, it's that natural, timeless look that we like to be able to transition into a following season. Ash, thanks for dropping yeah, by today. We again. appreciate it. Rod, did you get all that, how to update for the fall? I did. We're not done. But the pressure's on. Nate Duffy, that was pretty good. Yeah, seriously, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I like that I do my homework. Polar stop, and yes. you're right down the street from uh, Powell's. Right down the street on 10th Avenue. So yeah. that's easy. And mm -hmm. then we've got coats. I yeah. want to start yes. water resistant or waterproof, or can I get both at your store? Both, actually. So okay. This is the duck jacket. It's a play on an older jacket we did a couple years ago called the Surveyor, but this is a three layer, 20K, waterproof, fully breathable, taped up jacket. Oh, yeah. So nice you're going to be completely dry in this coat. Waterproof. Waterproof. Take it from me. Waterproof. This is the Northwest. Don't it fall is. for the water resistant. No. I've no. been there. Exactly. <laughs> no, this is going to be called wax, wax, wax. <laughs> what? I'm telling you, I want to be completely dry. Exactly. <laughs> you do. So this is the jacket that'll do it for you. Um, and we've like got that. it in a great high vis yellow and this really simple black. If you're feeling loud or if you're feeling uh, mellow um, so completely waterproof the draft nice. jacket is a uh, is a little different this is a transitional jacket as I like to call it or you know if we have people visiting from California or other slightly drier places this is a good coat for the Northwest in times like September late spring so is there a difference in the breathability between a typical water resistant garment and one that's absolutely going to keep you dry? I would definitely say yes, you know, depending on uh, like this is I would I would definitely say this is a lot more breathable. The water resistant. Yep, exactly. Which is why Ash likes it so much. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is yeah. What's this one? Yeah. Is this the one? Okay, hold on. Let me Try put this on. Oh, this is heavy. I mean, this is warm. But it's cozy though. Well, see now on this one, in the shower I don't care if I get resistance. wet because I'm so warm. Who cares? Now this is nice. We're stealing your thunder. Yeah, okay. serious. What are the, I know she got a cap, you got a, a hat up there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cotton, or what's, what's the best fabric for my Yeah, definitely. My so most of, our, uh, most of our beanies are going to be made out of cotton, definitely. You know, we don't have any real, we don't have wool pieces anymore, unfortunately, okay. for our headwear. Come on, get a, a lot of it is, too. get a beanie on. I want to have such yeah. a good hair day. Put the beanie on, put the beanie All on. All right. Do it. The heck with my good the, hair day. It's my first good hair right. day it's of the entire week, hair too. Hair there you go. Now you're true Portland. Look How at that look. How do I look, Nate? A beard, some facial hair, you It's a good combination. We did a Bridge and Burn collab years ago. I don't know if you remember that, but I still have the shorts from that. Remember. Collaboration. Water proof. <laughs> Let's go over to Ashley. <laughs> Rod, that looks pretty good. Hey, 